Hi, my name is Michael Carvin, and today I would like to demonstrate how I build a great drum solo. I would like to play a song titled The Surrey with the Fringe on Top. Now, some of my friends call it the Chevy with the fridge on top, but the name of it, though, is the Surrey with the fringe on top. Melody first, and then I will embellish the melody. The Surrey with the fringe on top, or the Chevy with the fridge on top. No, no, it's the, the Surrey with the fringe on top. What I would start off with, what I was using was a very great rudiment. It's called a rough. Rough. Like a dog barking, rough. So it's rough. And I really like that. This feels good. It feels like I'm dribbling a basketball or something. And every time I get into the survey with the fringe on, on top, I, I, I really start to feel this forward motion, like a, a river flowing or something that is moving, like running, like a racing river because of the rough. Then once I get into it, the only thing that I try to do is maintain the melody, but separate my mind from my body. So I'm maintaining the melody, but I'm letting my hands flow. And that is something that you can develop if you really learn your rudiments, because your rudiments will free you up. Or you could play, let's just see something. Uh, Five stroke row, yeah, I, I can play it that way too, huh? But this is better though, isn't it? 
when you build your solo, maintain the melody, but have fun. It's very important to have fun. It's music. <laughs> it's music. People love music. So enjoy yourself and enjoy playing music, but study your 26 rudiments just like you brush your teeth before you go to bed or you have your dessert when? After you finish your dinner, practice your rudiments first, then have dessert and build a solo. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time.